score of the live semi-finals. Next up is a comedian whose audition included putting his head in a bucket to sound like Darth Vader and an impression of Yoda that was basically two lettuce leaves stuck to his bonds. And people wonder why this show wins BAFTA. It's right there. It's Tony Rudd. In a world of mediocre impressionists, Bond, James Bond. All right, Stace, what's our care then? Oh, it's a tasty sensation. Am I bothered, though? This face? Bothered? One man will rise above them all. A teacher. Woo! <laughs> An entertainer. <laughs> Oh, Tony, you're so romantic. 20 years of dedication to his act. One performance to prove himself. One man stands between him and his destiny. Tonight, Tony Rudd will triumph over evil and go all the way to the live final of Britain's Got Talent. In a galaxy far, far away, at a television studio somewhere within the M25, a first-rate impressionist made a second-rate movie starring all your favorite characters. It was so cheap, its entire budget wouldn't pay for Simon Cowell's dental whitener. This is Return of the Red Eye. Simon Cow, your teeth are too bright for the dark side. <laughs> your dip <dentist> is here. <laughs> you is the source, Luke. <laughs> they traveled in time. Great Scott Marty! We need to go back to the future! <laughs> we need to find Santa Marty. We've been somebody's following for the space-time continuum. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Get out! Get out! I'm ah. here to terminate Donald Trump. <laughs> it's not fake news. It's not fake news. The Terminator was shooting at me. And my security guard, he said, Donald, duck. Oh, yeah, baby, <laughs> Get the duck on that roller coaster. Oh, no, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. Music from Seer. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't see her. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a superhero, even shorter than Declan Donnelly. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. <laughs> to the infinity and high heels and beyond. <laughs> Welcome to the Shrek in the Swamp karaoke disco party. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. Broccoli Spears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll be the phone then. <laughs> Hello. Have you been sold PPI insurance? Listen, pal, you're going the right way for a smack bottom. <laughs> I'm going to come round your house and I will pee pee in your eye. <laughs> what do you say to that donkey? <laughs> I'm gonna make some waffles. Oh, yes, Rick. Hey, oh, look, it's Pinocchio. Hello, Pinocchio. Hi, I'm a real boy. <laughs> David Williams is my favorite judge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Mrs. Brown's Boys. <laughs> This is my Brexit bra, because everybody wants me out of it, but nobody wants to face the consequences. <laughs> what this movie needs is a superhero. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Visit my website. 
into that that was fantastic your imagination is brilliant it's so silly i think children are going to love you i thought the impressions were brilliant um, i think you've made your mark and when i heard you on the bill tonight i was really looking forward to seeing you because i remember you so much from the first auditions and i think you've got a great future and i think that was very funny wasn't it everyone yeah. it just feels to me it just feels very us and very our show and it's it's Enormously homegrown, but very slick and professional. I mean, there was not a second wasted, and every single impression was on point. And it just goes to show what you can do in your own home with your own <laughs> props and your own things. You can do it on a budget on national telly, and it works. It was really, really good. You're a talented man, and I wish you all the luck for the rest of the Tony, is this your full time job? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, I work in a school for disabled children, teaching them how to be. Okay. <laughs> um, look, uh, I am so happy I asked that question because you are a very, very nice guy. Um, look, the only thing I thought, if I'm going to be honest with you tonight, Tony, is that it felt a little bit like a rehearsal rather than the main performance. Now, whether it was, <laughs> whether it was you or whether it was us, for whatever reason, it didn't seem to have gone up. A level. I, I know your app relies on you know all the all the all the simple stuff, but um, I don't know. I like you though. I disagree, and I think the whole audience here disagrees. Let's just get it right. They're booing Simon. They're booing Simon, not Tony. Tony, you did brilliantly. You know what? It, it made me feel like a kid again. Yeah. I mean, a little bit way, but like I really thought like I was. I grew up watching these like Cracker Jack, and I just thought. Wonderful to be to be ten years old and laughing and laughing and laughing. You're a fantastic talent. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Tony. Always tough to come to a, a, a theatre like this, you know, and, and play for laughs, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. This is the Apollo. This is where Michael McIntyre performs. This is fantastic. Yeah. And, and your stuff, it's so incredibly silly, but incredibly funny. I love the way you were laughing in rehearsals, I've seen you. Yeah. We were laughing very, very <laughs> Next hard. Next favourite line is the website Spider-Man line. Website. He's very easily pleased. <laughs> the, uh, the details on how to support Tony are on screen now, but don't do anything yet. You can't vote until we've seen the last act of the night. But one more time, let's hear it for him. Tony Rudd, everybody! <laughs> Time for a break, but when we come back, we've got soulful singing from Brian Gilligan, plus spooky sensation, The Haunting will be here. See you in a few minutes.